Once in a while I have a fight with Erno. This time it's about where we're supposed to travel, as he complains that I get to decide it too often. Well, I must admit that he has a good point. This time I agree with him, he can choose our next destination. His spirit cellar is almost empty. He also pointed out that the price of alcohol will be rising soon, as the Finnish government is raising its tax once again. That's why Erna chooses Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, to be our next target. It's time for a traditional Finnish booze cruise! Erna isn't the only person who goes to Tallinn for this reason. Every year, thousands of Finns travel by ferry to Tallinn to refill their cellars, often enjoying the nightlife of Tallinn at the same time. If you're tired of seeing drunk Finns in Helsinki, Finland's capital, it doesn't help much to go to Tallinn. Why is it this way? Why do people bother to go there? Good questions indeed! In most Nordic countries, alcohol beverages are highly taxed. It is supposed to cover the high expenses of health problems in society which are caused by heavy drinking. Another Nordic trait is the national retailing monopoly over alcoholic beverages. In Norway, the only legal liquor store is Vinmonopolet, in Sweden Systembolaget, and in Finland Alko. Apart from restaurants, bars and some rare vineyards, Alko is the only store in Finland that can legally sell anything with more than 4.7% of alcohol. On the contrary, in Estonia there is no monopoly at all. Taxes and the overall cost of living are also considerably lower, making a bottle of vodka cost about one third of what it costs in Finland. For example, in Finland, Finnish Kosken Korva vodka with 38% alcohol currently costs 10.49 euros and the same Finnish product rated into Estonia costs there 7.99 euros. And if you aren't that picky and you accept Russian and Estonian vodkas as well, you can save even more euros. Years ago there were toll regulations as to how much drink you can take with you from Estonia to Finland. In 2004 Estonia joined the European Union, which removed all the regulations. Since then, a Finn dragging a huge cart, packed with vodka and beer, has been a common sight on the harbour of Tallinn. Most Finns travel straight from Helsinki to Tallinn. Because Erno isn't straight at all, his route is something different. I also insisted on circling around a bit, because I wanted to see the Turku archipelago and the Åland Islands for the first time. That's why our journey starts from Turku, where it's relatively cheap to take a bus to Galtbu. From Galtbu we jump on a ferry that is completely free. That's right, as long as you are without a car, you can get a free ferry trip from Galtbu to Åland Islands, enjoying the views of the Turku archipelago. We land on Longnes and take a bus to Marianham, the capital of the Åland Islands. Yes, we are technically still in Finland, but this is a Swedish-speaking, autonomous area with its own culture and local government. For example, if you want to buy land from Åland Islands, you have to 1. Be citizen of Finland 2. Speak Swedish What a marvelous way to keep land in the hands of the local people! Swedes can't invade the place because they were born into the wrong country and Finns are just too reluctant to learn Swedish because they hate the language for the most part. But if you ask me, what kind of Finn wants to live here anyway? People are happy, no drunk people around and not even school shootings anywhere. Perkele, there's nothing to whine about here! Ah... Finally, something in common. Let's continue our journey to the next stop, Stockholm in Sweden. <sighs> More happy people and the usual boring tourist attractions. 
And I know that Finland isn't cheap either, but come on. These prices are ridiculous. Because most of our money is reserved for buying booze, Erno can't enjoy any cake globs here either. No wonder he's just as bored as I am. Come on, let's leave this place quickly. Finally, Tallinn, the ultimate place of pilgrimage for all vodka thirsty Finns. After aristocratic and slightly too serious Stockholm, it's refreshing to see so much more contrast. Here opposites collide, throwing beautiful vibes all over the place. Old and new side by side and even the tourist attractions are more tempting. A museum of medieval torturing instruments! I feel at home already! Erno is right, let's proceed. And after some <coughs> refreshment, it's time for shopping! This is something that Erno has waited for all this time, a visit to Super Alko. Now it's time to pile up a trolley to ensure that we get enough booze until we come back here. And it's not just about quantity, many brands here are something that you can't find in Finland at all. Then it's time to return. We are a bit tired, but happy as the cruise was successful and our cart is fully packed with booze. It was indeed a rough trip, both mentally and physically. The only thing left to do is to keep our cart intact all the way home. 